How do you get ChatGPT to write your property listing descriptions for real estate agents? This is one of the use cases from ChatGPT that really resonates with me personally because I didn't become a real estate agent to start copywriting and having to write all these property descriptions. And it was something that always brought a lot of anxiety to me. It was, and I would dread all the time just thinking, oh, my clients are going to know that I don't um, write at a very good level. They're going to be able to tell. Well, ChatGPT solves all those problems here. Now, all the responses that I get from my clients when I do their listing descriptions is they're so fired up and pumped and, and literally giving me praise saying that that was so well written when I just used ChatGPT in order to write the description for me. So let's dive into this. I'm going to show you step by step on how to get ChatGPT to write a listing description and how you can just evolve on that. And if you're a real estate agent that's just overwhelmed with trying to use ChatGPT and doesn't really know where to start, well, then you're going to want to go to the description. I have an AI course that teaches real estate agents how to use ChatGPT and all the main functions of using artificial intelligence. And me and my team have personally benefited massively from using AI. And it is the only reason why as this year has progressed that everyone else's sales continue to go down, but me and my team's sales are continuing to go up and it's because we have adopted artificial intelligence. So if you wanna learn how to do that, go into the description and sign up for my AI course specifically for real estate agents. Now that we're in here in ChatGPT, I have a thread that I've created that's specifically about my real estate business. So uh, here's where I make all my content, ask it all its questions, create my ads and all that stuff in there. Um, but one of the most important things that I did is I trained the ChatGPT to understand my business. So I gave it this prompt. It asked me a bunch of questions and now it knows exactly from doing that. I described with them exactly who my target audience, who I'm trying to be dealing with, what my actual goals are. And it, that's always step one to make sure ChatGPT knows exactly what to do for you. And if you don't know how to do that, I show you step by step inside my course. So go to the description, sign up for my course so you can have artificial intelligence help you actually achieve your goals. Okay, so let's start off. We're going to be prompting. Um, so I'm going to be prompting ChatGPT right here. I'm literally just going to write me a property description using these features and highlight the selling features. I did steal the old listing description from before my clients actually purchased the property. And then I just copy paste it in there and I hit enter and let's see what it comes up. with. Okay, perfect. So it gave a pretty long response. I know a lot of people are probably going to be similar to what's in my market that you can only do a thousand characters. So typically I would put that right into the prompt here down below, write this in a thousand characters or less. But just for the example, I wanted to show you how intuitive chat GPT is. It's really like us having a conversation. You tell it something, then it does it. So here I want to add that my client did over $220,000 in renovations to this property. And I want that to be included. Include that there has been over $220,000 done in renovations to the property, a brand new kitchen, new roof, new sun deck, new bathrooms, and make it 8,000 characters or less. So for my listing descriptions, it used to take me hours upon hours in order to come with it. And then I would have to get my girlfriend to edit it. I would get my business partner to edit it. He would then get his girlfriend to edit it for us to make sure that it looked good. And then I would have to send it to my clients to proofread. And then they'd be like, hey, Russell, you had some grammar mistakes here, or some spelling mistakes here. Um, but now with using ChatGPT, I can literally bang out a property description in less than five minutes. Um, and then I can get on my way. So that's the whole thing of using ChatGPT is you got to prompt it correctly. And it's there to be used as a tool within yourself. It's not going to completely eliminate having to write the proper descriptions, having to do all that, you're still going to have to prompt it accordingly. But look what it came up with. Immerse yourself with the beautiful Wood Lake and Okanagan Valley with this meticulously upgraded three-bedroom, two-bath home nestled in a quiet cul-de-sac. This property boasts over $200,000 in renovations, offering a modern luxury serenity setting. Uh, in the heart of the home is a brand new kitchen designed with the top line finishing, perfect for colony exploration. Laying room, dining room, master bedroom all feature large windows, framing, and panoramic lake views and valley views. Look how awesome this sounds. Step outside to the newly built expansive wraparound deck. Ideal space for entertaining, peaceful, and relaxing. Backyard and landscape haven. 
includes a hot tub, tranquil water features, creating a park like ambience. When I like, I'm never writing stuff like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's pretty amazing how effective it can be. And every single time I do a listing now, my clients literally say, "I loved your write up." A little hack in terms of actually meeting your clients' needs on the write up is ask them what they would like in there. What features would you like to be included? What do you really want us to accentuate in the write up? Having that kind of candid and back and forth response with your clients just makes them feel like a bit more a part of it. Because the last thing you want is it's been listed for two months and the guy says to you, oh, I wish you would have mentioned that we have a walk-in pantry. That's a pretty big selling feature. <laughs> I tell this story because I had someone uh, mention that to me that they wanted uh, the walk-in pantry to be included in that, which is probably not a big selling feature, but you're able to add that in, which makes them happy, right? Like that's just the whole point of being a listing agent is is meeting your client's expectations and having them be a part of the whole entire process leads to a lot finger pointing at the end if say like the home doesn't sell because in a lot of cases it probably just comes down to the price and your your write-up is important to get people in through the door and having good copywriting skills but it's not going to be the sole difference from them actually getting their home sold to not you know what i mean it it comes down to price how you present the property in the photos but having well written uh, property descriptions is going to set you apart from other agents in telling people that, hey, we use artificial intelligence to target specific things that people are searching for more on Google. So your property is going to rank higher are great, unique selling propositions to beat out your competition. So if you're someone that wants to learn exactly how to use artificial intelligence to boost your sales as a real estate agent, you're going to want to go to the description, sign up for my course, because I personally battle tested every single thing in that course. And I've had massive returns on my investment, plus eliminating a ton of expenses. So it's been a double whammy. My sales have increased, my expenses have gone down. So what person wouldn't want to be able to do that? Go check it out. I uh, would love your feedback and drop in the comments below what you struggle the most with using ChatGPT. We'd love to help you guys out.